What is going on? Hey guys, Tim here, aka VS Custom from SoCrawl. Now, man, it feels like I haven't done one of these in forever. And I and I and I'm trying to remember when. I think it was maybe last summer. Uh, you know, I, I apologize for that. I, I haven't been checking out a lot of new stuff. Um, just focusing on a couple things. I mean, I started a new job since then. I know I kept saying I started different jobs, but we moved five hours from where we previously were. But uh, start a new job, have a year and a half kid now, and a, and a, or a year and a half little girl, and then a, and a four-year-old boy. So, I mean, life is insane. And uh, I just haven't been building a lot of new stuff. I mean, ever since uh, I built the JK, the MST CFXW JK for the Recon G6 last year, and the Tamiya um, Sand Scorcher. I've been kind of quiet. I've been focusing on uh, designing up new scale items for all your awesome trucks out there. And that's about it. Um, designing, family, work, it's all crazy. It's all busy. But uh, here I am, uh, just working on getting the new area set up so that I can sit here and talk to you guys and have some fun. and. And get back into building. I mean, now that everything's starting to calm down a little bit and, and summertime's coming again, I figured I might as well touch base with you guys on what I'm building this year. Uh, because just like every year for the last, I think this is our fourth year, Brian Parker and the Recon G6 are coming back up here to Canada up at the Warsaw Cave. So I'm pretty pumped to be a part of that. I'm pretty pumped to uh, have him come up, come back again. And, uh, you know, I love seeing Parker. I, I mean, the guy's just an awesome guy. His energy is amazing and he just makes you want to have fun. So if you're interested in coming, don't forget July 21st weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Warsaw Caves, Peterborough, Ontario. Don't forget about that. Other than that, I guess I might as well talk to you about my new build. Um, big, huge shout out to RC Mart on this one. Uh, you know, I, I, I've always dealt with RC Mart Love the guys, they're great down there. Um, Keith, you're a good man, same with Lincoln. You guys are awesome. Um, just, uh, I, I decided this year I wanted to do a straight up, everything that's available at RC Mart Build. Um, I didn't want to go a million different places. I wanted to run what they have and what they offer and do a complete truck around it. So I'm, I'm kind of pumped for that. Now, you can see last year's JK in here. It's a bit of a cheat, I know, but I'm not running this body. I'm running the same style body. So I have a new extra speed JK version two body coming, or not coming, I have it here. It's white, it's plain, you can look online, you can see it everywhere. No point in showing it off to you. Uh, so I figured I would just show you this one from last year's because it's all done and looks pretty and has been used. So, I mean, at least once or twice, I think. Oh well, but uh, I'm building another JK. This year is going to be different paint, different design, different thought out process, and overall different look. So, so I'm kind of pumped for that. So keep a watch out for those being posted up. I'll be posting a lot of pictures up of the paint work on uh, my Instagram. So make sure to check that out. But here it is. The Extra Speed XS01 and this thing is gorgeous. Now, I don't have my drive shafts in yet. I know. I gapped on putting that in, thought, oh, I'll do the video and didn't put the drive shafts in. But this thing looks amazing. Now I'm running a set of uh, Proline Hyrax on here. Um, the only reason why is because they're a little bit bigger. And you know me and my Jeeps, I like that beefy look. No offense to the, the tires that come on here. They felt nice and soft and uh, you know, look like a good all around tire. I'd, I'd have no problem running them, but just wanted something a little bit beefier. Um, I've had a chance to put this together. Now, 
it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it doesn't come with instructions, so that's the only downfall I felt, but it's pretty much put together. You have your, your chassis, your frame already put in place, all your shock groups already put in place. Your links come already attached on the skid plate. So it's a matter of just mounting up your axles, mounting up your tires, and away you go. Pretty straightforward setup. I, I, I can't complain. A um, little less work than buying a kit for sure. The bonus I found over this, over buying say say an SAX 10-2 kit, is everything's upgraded. Everything's aluminum. It comes with a two-speed motor forward setup. I think this is uh, similar to, to the, the uh, SAX 10-2 transmission, but two-speed's already installed. It comes with a split bell housing on it, so when you go to put your, your motor in, you can actually see the mesh of the gears. So that's kind of cool. All the, the chassis bracing, shock hoops, everything is all aluminum. So you're not gonna have to upgrade any of it, including the skid plate. I mean, aluminum means weight. This thing should hold down. I'm, I'm pretty, I, I can't wait to drive it. I know some people were saying, you know, the motor looks like it's a little high. I don't know. I don't think it sits too high because you do have a lot of weight. That being said, aluminum axle housings running SCX 10-2 gears. These things come greased already inside so you don't even have to to take the time and pull it all apart grease it up put it all back together it comes greased uh transmission comes with grease already in it it's pretty much a put it together put some oil in the shocks and uh run it i mean there's there's no there's no real problem with it it's it's a great little looking rig i i, I can't wait to wheel it i mean that'll be the true test the shocks are a um, a, a king shock style they look identical I mean other than the fact that they're black so I mean you're gonna have to run a heavier weight I, I ran 40 weight in here we'll see how it goes it, it might be nice and soft I might have to run something a little bit heavier um, because apparently that's what a lot of the, the uh, guys who run king shocks do I think they run maybe 60 or 80 weight uh, I gotta look it up I that I don't 100% know so don't take my word for it other than that, this is a great looking chassis. Um, for the price, the fact that everything comes upgraded and aluminum, I, I mean, it's just build and run. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Now you will have to run a second servo for the, the two-speed transmission. Um, I've seen some people go brushless on this. I'm running straight up 35 turn brushed. I, I've gone the brushless route. I'll be going the brushless route on my uh, on the, my rebuild of my Toyota again, but for this brushed, I ran brush on the uh, CFXW last year. It worked fabulous, no problems. So, got to uh, what do I have running in this? Let's look down here. So for electronics, should have had this already. It would have been easier. For electronics, I'm running the uh, Hobbywing. Um, what is this one? 1060? I don't even know what this is. That's a great way to do a video. So how England crawler brushed ESC. Uh, it looks great waterproof. I've heard good reviews on it, so I figured I'd check it out. The Hakimoto 35 turn brush motor, because I've never had a problem with those. I mean, they're, they're a great price, straight up motor. They can be turned. They do have changeable brushes in it. It's uh, it's your typical rebuildable black can motor. Um, so for the price, why not go brush? And then I'm running the Ya yeah Racing um, digital servo. Now these these are 20 kilogram servos. I, you know, I have no problem with these. I, I ran these last year. Um, I think I've run these in my, my Drifter. I, I run these in a lot of stuff. Um, and just a great working servo. No. No problems. I mean, I, I get it soaked. I drive everything in the water. No, no worries. So it, it's. They say it's waterproof. They say it's a digital servo, so it's not analog. So, running that again. So I'll have two of those in there. Brush setup, and that's it. So, enough rambling on, because this is my first video back. I was about to drag it out forever, but uh, here we're gonna see more from me. I'm gonna show you guys my paint along the way. You know what, I actually might show you guys this time how I do my rust jobs on, uh, for instance, my bug, because the way I did my Beetle last year, um, 
I love the way the paint turned out. So I think I'm actually going to do a similar type style on my JK this year um, with a couple added pieces, which I'm not going to show them to you yet because I haven't shown anybody. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, this year's going to be a lot of fun. So keep watch, like, subscribe, and share like always. And uh, check me out on Instagram, Tim Bluer, uh, aka SVS Customs, or my Facebook page, same, Tim Bluer, aka VS Customs. You can check it out anywhere. I'm always posting up. I'm always doing, uh, well, not always. I've been doing it for a while, but I want to do more videos and showing you guys how I do a lot of my work. Cheers.